Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of My Model Railway Collection. Today we will be looking at the Class 121 bubble car and ha I will be telling you how I got into DCC. Now what you're seeing here is the Hornby Class 121 bubble car and I have it in this nice blue Chilton Railways livery. Now I've heard that this livery is actually slightly hard to come by now and uh, fairly hard to find. Uh, I, whether that is completely true I'm not, de uh, not definitely sure but uh, it sure is a very nice model to have. Now this is actually the first loco that uh, I, I got which actually had a socket which would enable me to convert it to DCC. Now this was very good because the next model tra uh, trains, that, as I will show you, the next model trains that I got after this were actually DCC fitted. Anyway this is a, uh, uh, as I said before it's in this very nice blue livery and I've also put some people in the interior of it and I will be coming on to fitting this loco with a uh, light inside as well interior lighting and uh, once that's done I'm sure it will look really nice and maybe afterwards I'll also put in some directional lighting now if you've seen my review on this uh, yeah well this has a lot of things that could be done to it Anyway, let's move on to the next model trains. Now, the locos you see here come from a digital starter set, the Backman digital starter set which is the starter set that got me into DCC. This set came with an easy command DCC controller, which I was actually using for quite a while uh, before I started using the Z21 system. Now these two locos, uh, because of this, are, are quite special. Now, along that's along with... These also came with uh, wagons, which are behind Charlie here. The wagons behind Digby didn't come in the set, those are just separate wagons that I decided to put on. Now Digby, I uh, this Digby is actually an analog loco as I took the decoder out of uh, Digby. Uh, this was because Digby wasn't running that well in DCC and the decoder was uh, okay as well. So I decided to take the decoder out and it turns out that Digby runs quite a lot better in analog, not amazingly, but better. Now this, uh, now Charlie here runs perfectly fine on DCC, and uh, it te it is actually the shunter that I use in the yard just outside the station, though I normally store it just outside the station uh, on the Brockhamsdale West side. Now that's about all I've got to say about these locos, so how about we get them running?
That's about it for this episode of My Model Railway Collection. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to click on the subscribe button to see more videos like this. If you like this video, you'll really like all the other videos that I do. But until the next video, thanks for watching, and bye!